What is happening guys, it's BrahmaNeverSay.com and I know as it comes as a shocker, but I've been lifting weights. This video is going to be full of a bunch of axle stuff. Monday were axle deadlifts, which you'll see how they went, but I want them to go better. Today was the axle push press. Started out doing axle split jerks, as the weight got heavier, became an axle push press. Some good things happened in this video, so you're going to want to check it out. There's also some bad things, might just want to skip over those. Anyway, here's my maximum effort upper and lower from this week. What is up guys and thank you very much for joining me on my maximum effort upper day. The variation for today was the axle split jerk and between those I was doing sets of weighted pull ups and glute ham raise sit ups. So right there you just saw a set of 115 pounds on the weighted pull ups for three and then this is 225 just working my way up something heavy hopefully. A lot of people have the belief that working your abs directly is a waste of time if you're doing things like deadlifts and squats, but I would probably disagree. I think hitting direct ab work will make those other lifts go up, as well as it gives you rest between your sets. That's mainly why I put it in. Now right here you're seeing a set of weighted pull-ups at 135, that's three plates hanging around my waist, and that is nowhere near my PR. I think my best ever is 205 around my waist for two or three. I'm really not sure. Then I hit the 275 axle push press, split jerk kind of thing. As it gets heavier, I really do less and less of splitting or jerking, and it goes straight to a push press just because I'm trying to get so much leg drive into the movement. The split jerk is still a relatively new movement to me, and I really need to work my technique on it a lot. One of my lifetime goals is to put four or five above my head, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that if my technique is off. And you can see even right there, it's starting to break down because I'm splitting less and less. This brings us to the top set of my weighted pull-ups, which was 180 pounds hanging off my waist for a set of three. That's four plates, I got two, kind of rested in the bottom, and three was questionable. Not gonna lie, three was definitely questionable. After that, I got in my set of glute ham raise sit-ups just for the rest, then moved on to this 365 axle push press now. Definitely more of a press than a jerk here. But that actually went well. 365 is definitely a weight that is hit or miss for me. If I, if I hit it wrong, it's not going. But it felt pretty good, so I jumped up to 385. My previous PR was 380, so this would be going for a five pound attempt. I'm starting to lose a little bit of consciousness here. Then I drive it up, kind of struggle because I didn't get my head all the way through. It's gonna show you a side view here where you'll be, be able to see it a little bit more. Shoots right up, and then I'm trying to get my head next to my elbows. Finally get it, lock it. Feel really, really happy about it, and relieved. Then for my volume work, I decided to do something a little bit different. I set up Two exercises and went 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 reps of actual strict press, which you're seeing here at 225 pounds and 100 pound weighted pull ups. So I just went back and forth. I got 10 reps, 10 reps, 8, 8, 6, 6, 4, 4, 2, 2. Between each one of those rounds, I was getting 10 glute ham raise sit ups, number one for the rest, and number two because having a strong core and a six pack is never a bad thing. So do your sit ups between your sets. Gives you rest, makes you stronger, makes you a happier person. My assistant stuff I like to do in just one big superset and just knock it out. So for this day, it was dumbbell ladder raises where I just do as many as possible. Then I moved over to the face pool, which again, I just did as many as possible and then took zero rest between each round and just went back and forth, back and forth for three total rounds and doing nothing more than burning out my shoulders because I really don't like doing assistance work. So now we're going back in time to Monday, which did not go nearly as well as Wednesday, where it was my maximum effort lower day and the variation was the axle deadlift. Right here, we're working up to 405. You're just gonna see a bunch of jumps on the way up. I was hoping to hit 650 because my previous PR was 640. However, I hit a farmer's handle max PR last Wednesday. I think my hands were still a little tired from it. Here's 585, goes easy enough. My next set is 605, which goes okay. You can see my body kind of rounding down because I'm trying to hold on to the bar so badly. Right there. Ah, I don't even want to talk about this. So terrible. 
Well, since Heavy didn't decide to show up today, I just dropped back to 500 pounds and got three sets of five, which really wasn't that bad. My whole mindset was to come in and hit that 650, and I actually tried it twice and hovered it off the ground, and it just slipped out of my hand both times. So then I dropped back to 635, threw some straps on, and pulled that, but even that was heavy. It just wasn't a good day. So I moved on from there, hit some assistance work with SSB Good Mornings, which you're seeing here, and reverse hypers. Just back and forth, just like I was talking about with the dumbbell lateral raises and the face pulls, same exact way that I do this, just trying to build up those muscles that will hopefully lead to bigger numbers. It's my whole plan. Anyway guys, watch the whole video recap because I talk about some stuff that's coming up, some experiences I had making Atlas Stones this week, and I just really appreciate you guys watching. Alright guys, video recap. So 385 on the axle push press is a 5 pound PR, and I'm very happy about that. I was actually feeling kind of nauseous all day, so coming in I didn't know what was going to happen, but I'm glad it did. 180 on the pull ups definitely isn't a PR, but it's the first time I've done weighted pull ups in a while, so I'm not too upset about that. As far as the actual deadlift goes, I don't even really want to talk about it. They went okay, but I definitely think the farmer's walk PR from last week may have played a role in how my hands were doing. I just couldn't hold on to the axle. It's pretty frustrated. But 605 on the axle isn't bad, just not where I wanted to be. But that was about all my hands wanted to hold on to that day. On Tuesday, I made a new Atlas stone that should end up around 330 to 360 pounds. It's still cooking, so we'll see. However, you place the stone on top of a bucket so that your stone doesn't get any flat spots, and the bucket's not doing too well. The bucket holding the stone is barely hanging in there. So we had to stick a bunch of kegs around it to try to prop it up because it was like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Pizza. Pizza. Anyway, we should find out in a couple days how messed up that stone's gonna end up being. But at the end of the day, it's strong, man. It's a stone. If nothing else, it'll be a good challenge. And I can always make another stone. Anyway guys, I really appreciate you watching and a special thank you to all of you who recently subscribed. Nutrition video is coming up very soon, soon as I stop being lazy and decide to tape it. I'm also going to be making a video on overhead presses that include leg drives. So push press, push jerk, split jerk, blah. I have a whole lot more to say about that than I do the strict press. So keep an eye out for those things along with a couple PR videos. Hopefully. Until then, go out, work hard, be nice to each other, go do some awesome things, and I'll catch up with you next time.